Hi, for this video what we're going to do is what is known as a work problem. Um, for this what we have is Natalie can pick 40 bushels of apples in 11 hours. So Natalie is in 11 hours. Um, Leah can pick the same amount in 15 hours and we want to find out how long it would take them if they work together. So um, our unknown in this one is the time worked together. And I'm just going to use X for that. Um, you can use any variable. If you wanted to use T for time, that's fine. Um, but with this, because they're working at different rates, we want to set this up as a rate, and the rate is always going to be um, 1, because this would be how much they're working in one hour. So they would get... Um, so we would always set it up as 1 over the time it takes for that person. So let's go ahead and do this for each person. So we would take Natalie first, and she completes one eleventh of a job in one hour. So because it takes her eleven full hours to complete this, she would figure do one eleventh of the job in one hour. Leah, we're going to do the same thing. For Leah, she's going to take 15 hours, so we would do one over 15. And then together, we would put 1 over x. That's what we don't know. We don't know the time. So what we would do is you're always going to done, take the part of the first person plus the part of the second person equals the part together. So we would do the 1 over 11 plus the 1 over 15 equals the 1 over x. And since we end up with a rational equation, what we want to do is find the lowest common denominator. Um, since 11 and 15 don't have anything in common, I'm going to just write this as 11 times 15 times x. You can keep it like this, or you could write it as 165x. So this is really what our lowest common denominator is going to be. So we would go through and multiply every single thing by our lowest common denominator. So for the first one, we would do 165x times 1 11th plus 165x times 1 over 15 equals 165x times 1 over x. For this one, if you remember, 165 is really the 11 times 15, so 11 goes into there 15 times is what we would be left with. For the second one, the 15 would cancel out, so we would be left with the 11x. And for the last one, our x's cancel out. Um, so we would end up with 165. So this is the equation that we can solve. It's now a nice easy equation. So, equation. Um, so with this we get 26x equals 165. And 126, or 26 does not go into 165 evenly. So we would say that this is approximately 6.35. I did round to two places because that's what it told me up here. Um, if you had to put it in time as far as like for this, so this would be 6.35 hours. Um, if you wanted to convert it to hours in minutes, Um, we would just take the 0.35 times 60 since there's 60 minutes in an hour and that would give us approximately 21 minutes. Remember I did round. So you could either write this as together it would take and I'm just gonna go back up and um, Natalie and Leah Six point three five hours, or we could say six hours and twenty one minutes to pick forty bushels of apples. So you always set them up the same. 
Um, you would always go through and set up the one over the time it takes each individual person. So it would be one over the time it took Natalie plus one over the time that it took um, to equal for Leah to complete it equals the time together. So you always set it up the same way. And then always make sure that you write your answer as a sentence so that anybody looking at this would understand what your answer represents. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are other topics that you need me to cover that you um, don't see, please let me know that as well.